Good evening, everyone. I ain't seen y'all in a while. Um, sorry about that. Um, really couldn't think of anything I wanted to talk about. Um, I had some other stuff going on, but uh, uh, me and my friend did get on a little bit of a joke the other night at my birthday party. Um, it was a great party. I thank all my friends for uh, holding it for me. It was the 20th anniversary of my 21st birthday, <laughs> so I'm uh, slowly turning into an old man. But, um, I kept thinking of a lot of things I want to talk about tonight, and you know, I couldn't decide one thing. I didn't really go, want to go into Trump again. You know, I, I beat that horse to death. But, but this will be a little bit about Trump. But I've talked about other ways about how to fix Social Security, how to fix Medicare, and to fix um, how to help the homeless, uh, what we should do about taxes. In this country, I have did a video comparing us to how we're going to fall like the Reagan empire. Hello, how are you? How the United States is going to fall um, um, like Ron did. Uh, Ron Paul said it best that, you know, um, in the long run, we're going to fall like Ron did by overexpenditures of... of overextension and military expenditures and you can just look at what our defense budget is and I even did a um, video about that tonight but I was going to talk about something that you know most Americans um, have followed their whole life or, or a lot of us have um, um, and it's always been a great interest to in me ever since I was a kid uh it was about the um, Kennedy assassination. And uh, there's been um, a lot of stuff come out here lately. Um, there was 3,100 files. It was just, it was, uh, there was 3,100 files and only 2,800 of them was um, released. Um, and they held out a lot of, uh, um, that's really none of your business, Lacey Miller. Um, um, a lot of things were held out, uh, about 3,000 other files, and you wonder why, you know, why was the files ever locked away in the first place? And I think the original time they weren't supposed to be released till 2029, and then after JF, the movie JFK, Bush put it out there, uh, you know, supposed to release them in 1992, Put it off now. Now they're withholding 3,100 more files from the uh, Kennedy assassination. And, um, you know, one, and, you know, the first question is why was these files locked away for 60 or 70 something years? And the government said it was always grounds of national security. Well, if this was some lone psycho who just decided he was killing the president, what grounds of national security did they have to hide, um, to hide them and lock them away. And then the other day they refused to release some more of 3,100 documents that um, was um, they're still withholding. And um, one of the most interesting ones that came out a few years ago was about uh, head of the CIA then, his name was Khan, and they said he um, um, introduced a um, uh, there was a minor cover-up, a small cover-up, and that he wanted to keep the people focused on Oswald, just Oswald's assassination. Well, why would there be a minor cover-up? Why was you just keeping them focused on the Kennedy assassination, or Lee Harvey Oswald's long assassination? First one comes to my mind, why would, why would you be doing that? Why Was there a reason to... Uh, to keep them focused just on Lee Harvey Oswald. And that was released. And then this past release was by James Eagleton, who was the chief um, correspondence, chief chief of the uh, counter, counter, counter spy intelligence. And he said that um, he kept the commission focused on conspiracy theories. Well, why was you keeping them focused on conspiracy theories. Um, you know, what, um, 
why would you just keep them, you know, why would you fuel and fire on a conspiracy when they're trying to, Cone is trying to keep people's focus just on Oswald. See, things aren't adding up here. <laughs> and now there's 3,100 documents they still won't release. Why will they not release these documents? What are they hiding in these documents? What could they possibly be keeping from us? And one of the most interesting things that I found through the latest release of this was that um, there was a um, memo that was released and um, or it was an interview that was released where they was questioning President or questioning one of the CIA people and they said was Lee Harvey Oswald a CIA agent? He turned the page where the answer was the page is conveniently missing. Um, so it begs the question what else is missing in this case? And why are they keeping 3,100 documents still closed? Uh, closed? I firmly believe it's because there are still certain people alive. But um, there are so many ties. You can go back with this guy named Hall who was running drugs through, or running guns through Dallas that was connected to Ruby that was in prison with Sam Giancani. And... You know, you can tie Ruby to get with Oswald. You can tie Oswald with Ferry, Ferry with Shaw, Bannister, and these guys. Um, and, I mean, you, uh, there's stuff that I can go into tonight that I'm doing on our, or on our channels that can prove Oswald was an agent. But, you know, the question is, you know, these ties between all these people cannot be... Um, um, the ties between all these people cannot be um, just coincidences. I mean, uh, you just can't tell me that even if Lee Harvey Oswald was a lone assassin, somebody else did not know this was going to take place. And I can go into other evidence and stuff about that right there. But I mean, um, you know, they admitted there was a cover up. One Angleton, who is head of this, is trying to get everybody to, um, you know, keep it, uh, keep them focused on conspiracy theories. So it's like you're trying to keep from getting to the, what the real truth was. And if the real truth was that Lee Harvey Oswald walked into work on November 22nd, 1963, went up to the sixth floor, got three shots off to the president, then gunned down a Dallas police officer 45 minutes later in the streets then um, what would you have to hide for the next 70 years um, you know the government is obviously keeping something from us they won't release the files um, you know just just one thing just go and compare the autopsy with the doctors at Park uh, doctors at the, uh, never mind that's not, I'm not getting into that tonight. but I mean what is the government hiding from us? What are they still hiding from us? And why will they not release the files? And with this many ties to so many people, it can't be to Oswald. It can't all just be coincidences. Um, there has to be one there. And I hope one day that um, the smoking gun will finally drop. But that's what I want y'all to think about tonight. Why was there a limited cover-up taking place? Why won't to focus solely on Oswald and nobody else? And um, why was Eagleton fueling conspiracy theories? And why are they still withholding 31 documents from us? Um, just think about that tonight. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed. Y'all have a great night.